premium video and advanced television, addressable TV, the whole thing? Well, the thing I want to start with, Andy, is why? You know, before we get to what we're doing, why do we have to solve the problem of advanced TV? Um, a lot of people look at it and say, well, it's obvious, we get better targeting, we get better performance, etc., etc., which is true. But there's a larger context that I'm not sure people are talking enough about in the industry that's really essential uh, and driving, in my view, the need to solve advanced TV more systemically and more holistically and premium video. Um, and it has to do with the forces of change impacting our industry. Right? And I'm talking about our industry as the advertising agencies and the traditional TV ecosystem and premium video ecosystem. So. There's a lot coming at us at the moment, specifically around, you know, um, Google and Facebook. They're fantastic, important partners, big reach, but they're working at disintermediation against the agency model at the moment. They've got big, they've got their big walled gardens. I don't bemoan walled gardens anymore; they're a fact of life, but that's 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 the reality. You know, we've got a lot of um, consultants out there trying to take agencies and move them a rung lower. On the value chain so they want to give all the smart advice and try and relegate us to execution we've got the kind of ongoing fragmentation of audiences from tv to a multitude of ip addressable platforms so the opportunity in advanced television optimization and premium video optimization holistically for the industry for agencies like mine is not just about smarter targeting it's our it's our bulwark it's our it's our big hedge against the competitive threats of disintermediation because that's really where we have undeniable you know a primacy and we've got to we've got to maintain that and we've got to build a, mu a much bigger bigger competitive wall for the industry around that in my opinion and so the way to do that is to take tv and premium video which is still the top of the food chain top of the stack in terms of economic value creation for advertisers and bring more obviously data targeting addressability but importantly more standardization to the approach behind which we transact in the premium video pools so that's the kind of that's why i'm so focused on it why i came from videology over here now to mec is i'm kind of very focused on that mantra of how we build build a big so, so Tim, if you look at what you would like to have standardization, what does that look like in broad strokes? Well, it looks like um, it looks like to me um, uh, a, a, a common way to apply data across all of the supply to uh, to targeting and measurement. That's really what we like to. Do. It doesn't have to be the same data. It just has to be a common approach. And the challenge we're having at the moment is everybody is building a homegrown solution. Now, I understand why everybody needs to understand advanced targeting in television and premium video better. They need to bring it together. So I understand why everybody in the ecosystem is looking at their own homegrown solutions. But I think we, don't, we won't reach the point that we need to get to as an industry until we're bringing much more standardization in terms of the, the broad approach to targeting and measurement across all of those publishers, all those inventory partners, all those media owners from the agencies out. That's really where we've got to get to. Uh, and right now there's just there's just a multitude of homegrown solutions. So it's getting it's getting more fragmented, more difficult to navigate, and the power is in some form of consolidation around that. I mean I think all the activity in the space, right, all the activity around programmatic TV, advanced TV, people buying, you know, the, the big technology companies being interested in it speaks to the value of television still, the, the, the value of television and the broad understanding from the industry and the big technology companies and the agencies that uh, if we bring more data, more technology to the world of targeting, there is an enormous amount of upside for advertisers on the other side of that. So I, do, I think it speaks to the upside in, in the programmatic TV, advanced, advanced TV space.